Okay, welcome. Today I wanted to offer some reflections about joy. I talked about joy a little bit last week, but today I wanted to share a few of the practices and the tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, both with myself and with clients, to cultivate more joy. So, enjoy. Okie dokie. So, I had a request from one of my subscribers to come outside and <clears throat> the weather is reasonably good today um, lovely sunshine so I thought I would come out and do the video outside so for me that's you know one of the the key things and I think <clears throat> I mentioned last week this idea of joy you know sometimes we can just get lost in looking at our trauma um, and it's important to come back to the joy. So one of them is being outside for me. And I can see that because of the trauma, because of boarding school, I am often on a treadmill, the workaholism that I am still working on to this day. And one of the ways is coming outside. And I, I find one of the best ways is to create routines that we can spend, you know, doing these things which bring us joy. So I've talked many times about a daily practice. This is so important. I say to my clients, 15 to 30 minutes a day to commit to spending on yourself. One of my daily practices is I come out and I sit in the garden. I get some uh, sunlight. Sunlight's really important for, uh, you know, joy. But also early in the morning, within the first 15 to 15 to 60 minutes, that really helps us sleep. And what that does is it um, uh, is evokes the cortisol pulse. So generally, when we see sunlight, we go to sleep 16 hours later. So I come outside, and that brings me a lot of joy, a lot of joy uh, coming outside. So that's one of the first ones. So yeah, I basically, got a list here of probably about 30 different things. I won't go through all of them to just get a sense. Laughter and laughing. <laughs> now, um, uh, an interesting story about 50, probably nearly 20 years ago, uh, I realized I was quite depressed and, you know, I wasn't laughing. I was very serious. So I studied and, and learned laughter yoga because it was like, oh, well, how do I bring more joy into my life? And as I like to push myself, sometimes I went and actually taught laughter yoga class. <laughs> and um, I did that in, in festivals and there was a class. Uh, I did that for about a year, you know, uh, on and off. So I found laughter. That's really, really important. I think Lee Burke, um, who's a... a a professor of one of the US universities he says when we laugh he says it, it kind of stimulates the part of the brain that readies that other person who's hearing your laughter uh, it readies them to laugh as well so I found yeah just just laughter and they also say children they laugh up to 300 times a day whereas adults it's up to about 30 and maybe that's changed the figures but almost 10 times more so just laughing <laughs> you know watching something which is funny my wife was watching um, the guy who dresses up as a tree and then um, scares people as he walks past and she was in hysterics um, uh, and it is very funny so that's one of the things laughter smiling smiling it's like um, when we smile again that changes the shape of our body changes the shape of our face it releases endorphins it's like it brings joy another one I mentioned in last week's video is gratitude you know really stopping because we live in this fast paced go do 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 environment to actually stop and smile and be grateful to go, wow, yeah, so I can see the gooseberries here. I've got the black currants behind me, you know, and lots of fruit on them. It's like, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So 
it's noticing these things, what can I appreciate? It's a lovely practice just to sit down and write some of the things you're appreciative of. So I write three de things down a day and I've been doing this now for probably a couple of years. So I'm on about 2,600 <laughs> things I'm grateful for. And it, it's like, yeah, lots of things to be grateful for. And it just builds and builds and builds and builds. Say if you're in relationship with another, especially if we've been through trauma, we often just see the negative. We are the negativity bias, just focused on what's not working. So if we can shine that flashlight of attention for gratitude, what am I grateful for with that? And putting it down on paper and then telling that person. I mean, that's very, very important. And another one is being barefoot on the earth. That brings me a lot of joy. There's a lot of science uh, behind that. Clint Ober, who wrote the book Earthing, talks about how it is very um, anti-inflammatory to be barefoot on the earth. Um, they have, and he sells earthing sheets, but I find what brings me a lot of joy is just being outside. Being outside barefoot, you know, I'll come out and I'll garden, um, and I'll usually be barefoot. You know, maybe half of the day, the whole day. So I find being barefoot as well as another practice. Some of the other things, dancing, uh, creativity, breath work, studying, going on walks, sunbathing, gardening, um, being still, meditation, hugging my wife, um, seeing my wife in a really joyful space, giving gifts to others, especially my wife. Um, serving others, so whether that was volunteering with Scouts, which I did for about 14 years, uh, or it's just giving someone a compliment, smiling. Um, so, and I've got lots of other things here, but have a reflect. Some of these things I've mentioned, try them out. Maybe it's not for you, but as someone pointed out in the video last week, is sometimes it can be a bit stressful for us who you know, if we don't know what we find us, <coughs> what we find joyful. So the invitation is to try them out. How does that feel? You know, dance. I used to love dancing, especially mosh pits and uh, as a teenager. I haven't really got back into dancing. I love drum and bass. And so I'll put some on and as I work out and I'll dance. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> and that really brings me a lot of joy. So, um, yeah, just some reflections of some of the things that bring me joy. Please do share below, you know, what are some of the things that bring you joy? Um, again, some of us are not sure. If you see some wonderful examples, try them out. How does it feel? You know, and, uh, and go with that. So, thank you so much for your time. And, yeah, any questions, let me know.